All right, and now the St. Francis Red Flash take the stage. Chris Valerio, the head coach. We've got Hakeem Kennard, defensive back, and Meldrick Flavius, offensive lineman, joining him today. And, you know, Coach, uh, you guys were the 2016 NEC champions. You got the first ever playoff berth in school history. A little bit of a step back last year, but you've had seven consecutive seasons in conference of 500 or better which speaks very highly of what you've done with this program. What do you think the biggest key is to doing that and to continue the growth this year and maybe try to get back to the top of the mountain? You know, first and foremost, you know, I'd like to congratulate CCSU. Uh, I got to talk to Coach a little bit, but they did a great job, made a great run at it, and uh, represented the conference very well uh, in the championship game. Uh, what we have to do is, you know, we got humbled a little bit. Uh, you know, we, we had a great start last year. Uh, we hit some adversity. Um, but I think we've learned from that. You know, we've discussed it with the team. Uh, we we saw where the issues were. We solved them, and we're ready to move forward. And I think there's a lot of excitement. Um, you know, we're, we have to correct the mistakes and, and keep pushing forward. So, um, I'm excited. I think the, the team's excited. But uh, we have to we have to become a consistent football team again. Uh, we can't make the mistakes, and we have to control the ball offensively. Uh, defensively, we got to make the big play, and we have to get back to the basics and. Uh, you know, let it all out in the field and let's see what happens. Fellas, we know what the coach felt about last year as players. How deflating was it for you at the end of the season to realize, well, you know what? We did not repeat. We wanted to. We were the defending champs. We didn't get to go back to the playoffs. What was that like for you and how do you use that this year? Uh, I think it, was, it wasn't a good feeling, obviously, but I think it was fuel, you know what I'm saying? I think everybody on the team used it as fuel. Um, and I think We've been using that since the end of the season. Like, it's been something that we use as motivation since the end of the season, and we're gonna use it for the rest of this season. So, uh, it definitely wasn't a good feeling, but you know, you learn from your mistakes. Well, we came into the season. You know, we started off. We had a good run. Had we was on our high horse, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously, you know, we got knocked down. And what it was to us is that you know, it showed us that you know, this is. Any, any given Saturday, anything can happen. Right. And it's just, you know, we're just using it to identify ourselves and who we want to be as a football team and, and as a program. You know, being in a league, watching you guys for the last three years, one of the things that's always stood out to me is your line play. You guys have dominated with your line. Um, I won't say I didn't see that last year, but I didn't see it quite as paramount as I had seen it in years past. How do you get that back? You guys are big and strong. There's no question about that. Now it's a matter of how do you get that execution at the level you need? Um, well, offense is, you know, on defense, anybody can make a play, change the uh, whole, you know, outcome of a game. But on offense, everybody has to be on one accord. So we just got to be better at gelling together and getting everybody on the same page and make sure everybody knows what they're doing. So we just need, you know, we just want to have everybody on offense with a tenacious mentality as to how our defense has. You know, defensively, you just made a comment of that that is uh, as close to the truth as I've ever heard. Defensively, all you need is one guy to make a play. Offensively, if you, anybody screws up, the other 10 could be doing a perfect job. Defensively, two years ago when you guys won the league, I thought that secondary you guys had, it was experienced. You made a lot of plays. Uh, sneaky, that corner blitz that you guys would bring in at just the right time. How do you get that going again for you guys? Uh, defensively, I think it's definitely a culture thing. You know, every year is, it's, it's, it's a question like, oh, you lose him, you lose him. But every year it, it, we come back and we, we, we show that we're a good defense every year. And I think uh, I attribute that to Coach P. I attribute that to all the coaches, for real, for real. Uh, but I think it's a culture thing, you know. Uh, we, as a defense, dark side, we, uh, <laughs> we, just, we just believe in each other. We just <laughs> believe in our coaches. <laughs> You started off, I thought you said a coaching thing. I thought you were going down a different path. That was good to hear you were complimenting those guys. That was, that was a good thing. A culture thing. Oh, culture. culture. <laughs> the accent. Uh, Bear Fenimore, uh, your quarterback, what, what more does he have to do to progress this year to get things uh, even more offensively explosive? The last year you guys were in the middle of the pack offensively. I, I think we just got to solidify up front first and foremost. Um, I think, you know, we got beat up up front last year. We got down to um, – and injuries are part of the game, but we got down to if we lost a, an, an offensive lineman, we were putting in a fullback. I mean, we were, mm -hmm. we were really decimated by the end of the season. So we got to get him comfortable in the pocket, get his confidence back, 
um, and we got to get him gelling with them receivers again. We got to bring that camaraderie back. And uh, you know, Bear's been up all summer. Um, you know, he's been he's been doing a lot of things on his own. He's been lifting. Um, he's been talking with the receivers. So I think that cohesiveness, is, that bond's coming back. So that's that's what we have to do for him. And we got to be able to run the ball. We have to be able to run the ball. That's going to be the key to. To, to our success is we have to be able to run the ball to take the pressure off him. Of course, an offensive lineman talking about <laughs> running the ball, why should I not be surprised about that? But when you do throw it, I want to ask your two players, do you guys sometimes just like jaw drop when Cameron Lewis makes a play? Because there are times, I mean, he's a legit pro prospect. There are times up in the booth, we're just like, wow. What is that like for you guys? Do you take a moment to just stop and watch him? Yeah, I mean, especially at practice, like we're doing one-on-ones, he'll, he'll make a crazy play, and then we'll, we'll just be like, that's, that's Cam. Like, that's Cam <laughs> for you. There's some, some things you can't coach, and he definitely got that, that thing that you can't coach. He, he goes up and gets, gets the ball. And it's definitely, it's definitely fun to watch. It's definitely fun to watch. What's that like in practice going up against him? I mean, is, you know, when you, when you stop him, you must feel pretty good. Uh, I mean, personally, I'm, I'm expecting to stop him, you know, every time I go up against him, but because you know I'm supposed to. But it's definitely it's definitely a challenge. Like you could be you you could have him covered all the way, and he he'll still make the catch. So yeah, it's definitely a challenge, and I like going against him just because it's a challenge, you know. For sure, we wish the St. Francis Red Flash the best of luck, led by head coach Chris Valerio. Guys, thanks for stopping by.